hip hop shit. It's kind of hard to get rappers to really just cross over. It seems like once the rapper, you know what I'm saying, make it, you know what I'm saying, to a place that he want to be, he kind of tend to forget where he come from. And we tend to have that, you know, coming from a lot of artists that's uh, seeming and in the game today, you feel me? Like they tend to forget, you know what I'm saying, where they come from. And you know, the people that pretty much helped them get there. You know, a lot of people forget, you know, places that they was from. They never go back there or try to help out, you know, the community of no source. You feel what I'm saying? Because they feel like, hey man, I got this on my own. Didn't nobody help me get it. So I'm not obligated to help nobody but myself and my family and the people around me, which is true. You feel what I'm saying? But on the other hand, you got other niggas out here, fam, that feel like bankroll Freddy. Now, before I get into Pacific, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and fam, let's chop game. Now, it's been a 73-year-old woman. Uh, she was shot and killed out in Helena, where bankroll Freddy uh, from. And I guess it didn't sit right uh, with him, man, because he went to social media and was talking down you know, up on individuals that's out there game banging and doing that shit, but they hitting innocent people, you know what I'm saying, with bullets, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of niggas that's out here fam, not only rappers, but just, just street niggas in the streets fam, that's active fam, don't believe man, you know, old people or kids getting killed, you know what I'm saying, in the hood, it don't really don't matter how gangster you is, you feel what I'm saying, oh, what you done been through, I mean, I don't look at it as being gangsta at all. Pretty much what Bankroll Freddy said, you know what I'm saying? When old people getting hit or kids getting hit in the community that we supposed to be out there protecting. It's like if you got a problem, you know, with a dude, just take it to that individual. Because if you shooting and it's a crowd of people out there, I mean, you risking people. Kids, family, grandmothers, sisters, and brothers. And that ain't no real shit because they ain't got nothing, you know, to do with the situation at hand. And now we all know Bankroll Freddy is a trap rapper. You know what I'm saying? I can't really remember the last time that a trap rapper, you know, be so close to the streets. Because it's all about the money with a trap rapper, right? So most of their social media presence and posts is going to be about trap shit. You know, you rarely get rappers that get in the game that talk that dope boy shit that's willing to pay for a person's funeral, a 73-year-old woman that he don't even know. You feel me? Just seeing the reports. I don't know. He was pretty much saying on social media, hey, look, get at me. You know, anybody that, that know this woman, and he from the place where it happened in Helena, Arkansas, in Helltown. And he was like, he'll pay for the, you know, the funeral expenses for the woman. And that's real shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming from a trap artist that don't know these people. He not no member of the family or nothing. Don't have no close ties with this woman. You feel me? But it touched his heart to want to, you know, pay for the the funeral expenses and that's gangster bro you know what i'm saying that's gangster as it get you know what i'm saying that's 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 the reason and bankroll freddy have said this in a lot of his social media posts fam how he manifested his success with the tongue you feel what i'm saying things he spoke into existence so that mean he got a belief system and something right other than himself you know what i'm saying that means he got a belief system in some other than himself. And that's hard right now with rappers that's in the game because they just believe in themselves. They feel like they got there because of themselves or another human being. You feel me? But see, bank, roll, Freddy, see beyond them visuals. And I can see a lot of great things coming to BKM and bank, roll, Freddy over there, fam, because he understand the game. A lot of these artists don't under they in the game, but they just in the rap game. They don't understand the street game. They don't understand the pain game, the poverty game, what it really is. You feel me? They just seeing through the they visuals <laughs> on how how they understand shit. You know, I, I got no love for other people. You know, hey, that had nothing to do with me. You feel me? We live for other people, fam. You get your blessings from other people, fam. You feel me? And if you out there, you a fan 
a bankroll Freddy. He give you the blueprint, fam. You feel what I'm saying? On how to move to be successful in whatever you want to be successful in. It ain't necessarily got to be rap. It ain't got to be as a big a success as bankroll Freddie got, but you successful, whether it's with peace, financial uh, success, whatever you aiming for, fam. Hey, look, we live for other people, fam, and that's real shit. What bankroll Freddie did with the 73-year-old woman that was shot and killed out there in Helena paying for the funeral expenses for the family. It don't get no realer than that. We salute Bankroll Freddy. You dig what I'm saying? But hey, look, I'm out.